All right, guys, welcome back to another Zombies Revisited video. In today's video, we are going to be entering Shrek's absolutely disgusting swamp, and we're going to be playing Zetsubo no Shima, aka Takio's map. But yeah, this will be interesting. This map is notorious for its extreme setup and just the amount of crap that there is in this map to do. And uh, of course, you know, as always, we're gonna try and do absolutely as much as we possibly can. Now there is one prerequisite that you need for the Easter egg in this map, which is really strange. And I just don't really know how to feel about it. And that is that you actually have to have anywhere but here on as a gobble gum. So there's a part in the Easter egg, which granted the main Easter egg is very easy. It's really just all the stuff surrounding it that's tough. But there's a part where you need to actually teleport to a hidden area and you need this gobble gum. So yeah, I don't really know what the deal with that was, but whatever. Regardless, we're going to wrap this intro up and uh, we're just going to go ahead and get into it. So I'll see you guys in the match. Bring the stowaways on the dick. Oof. Takio got absolutely bopped right there. The summoning key. Oh, I love this Black Ops 3 PC stutter. Ooh, Richtofen doesn't speak Japanese. Let's go. <laughs> Richtofen just goes for the lantern. Oh, my. He got it. He got it. That was close. A little too close. About to be greeted by Shrek. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah. Alright, here we are. Right in the belly of the beast. Right in Shrek Swamp. Like I said, this map has an intense amount of setup. Um, normally I do practice runs, but I really needed to hurry up and record this video. So, your boy did not do a practice run of this. So this is probably going to be a... Uh, a little scuffed, but we'll make it work. Are you sure about that? There's a lot of plants that you gotta water and grow to get all sorts of stuff. There's so many different Easter eggs we have to do. There's some challenges we gotta do as well. It, you know, Shrek, he just, he got all the objectives for us out here. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and start making them points as per usual. Oh, also, I forgot to mention that randomly perks will drop from the sky like in Nuketown. Um... What? Okay, I can't be the only one who noticed that I shot his leg like seven times and didn't get a single hit marker, right? What the heck? Uh, anyways, let's just ignore that. Uh, we're gonna go over here. But yeah, Zetsubo's, you know, it's got some spooky vibes. I definitely like the atmosphere of the map, though. It's a very nice uh, change of pace. Creepy swamp. It's like Shino Numa, but honestly way better with way more content. <laughs> I'm surprised he hit me from there. Okay, we got a seed. We're gonna need a lot of these to accomplish everything on this map. Literally just getting the power on is an absolute, like, feat. So, we have this altar. Uh, we have three challenges we can do. So shoot five spores, which are these little, like, orange uh, things around the walls. That one's not really grown yet, but eventually it'll grow and get big uh kill 10 spore infected zombies with headshots kill eight spiders with spores so literally all of my challenges have to do with spores gotcha this is last of us gaming right here we need to see what this symbol back here is because the specialist weapon of this map is called the skull of non -Sopwe. and in order to get it you have to do four of these little rituals so we're gonna go grab this skull back here we're gonna put it over there and we're going to begin the first ritual we're not running near death experience this time because the boss fight for this map is honestly ridiculously easy and you really don't need anything for it. So the biggest pain with this map is just opening it. <laughs> so I may hit for extra credit soon and take advantage of that because the amount of points it takes to open up to power is just stupid. So that skull is done. Now we're going to take it back over here. And we're going to place it. Wow. And I guess I could go ahead and, you know, plant 
one of these seeds and give it some of this purple water down here, but uh, no need, no need. All right, that's 500 points. Uh, and then, of course, you have these little, like, blue spider web things. If you get the KT4, which is the wonder weapon of this map, you can shoot those and um, get whatever's behind it. So what's the symbol over there? Oh, crap. Why's it got to be blurry, bro? Right, I think I know which one that is. All right, I'm pretty sure it's this one. Okay, we got the plane. It's delivering us quick revive. Very nice. Thankfully, it's not like uh, Nuketown, where... You know, you have to wait 10 years to get Jug, or you may get, like, something you don't want right off the bat. I'm not going to pick that up yet, though, um, because, well, if I die this early, I deserve it. All right, cool. We got the right skull. Very nice. So, I think on this one, we're going to have some spider boys. Do you honestly think you're funny? Seriously. That pop up. Because, yes, this map has spiders as its dog round. Very terrifying. Look at that guy. All right, my overpowered grenades are going to have to carry me right here. Maybe I should have, like, gotten some more stuff. Is it done? Please hurry up and finish. I think I made a mistake, guys. We're already off to a fantastic start. All right, cool. It finished. We're good. All right, let's go ahead and grab this part. That's going to be for the gas mask because there's a lot of stinky stuff in Shrek Swamp that we need to have our beautiful little nostrils protected from. All right, uh, I have no idea which is going to be the next um, skull, but we're going to take that. Hopefully, we're right. Hopefully, it's that one. Can I get an extra credit, please, and just skip a lot of this crap? Thank you. Very nice. We're going to we're gonna pop that. We're going to pop that, get that, and get that. Easy. Shiva gang, rise up. Stop it. Get some help. Honestly, Shiva with, like, full attachments is not bad. Really isn't. It's not bad for a starting wall weapon, at least. All right, here we go. Lab A. So there's a shield part in here somewhere that I can pick up. Let me uh, try to remember where it can spawn. Right here. There we go. And then back here, we can also get the blue water. And over here, we have a secret little... um spider web thing that leads into something very interesting and you know what i think i've never even seen that monkey before you learn something new every day all right let's get that blue water well actually hold on we need to we need to get these guys to hit the spores all right we're about to make a big train boys go ahead and get one of these challenges done with all right let's farm them headshots baby oh yeah that actually hit a decent amount So, in order to get the power on in this godforsaken map, you have to fill two uh, different buckets with water on each side. So, we're not going to do that yet because we need to get the other side open. But yes, that is truly one of the, the ways to open power of all time. Alright, let's open up over here. This is where we need to go to get power on. Go ahead and open this up. Get those webs off. Hold on, let's let's open up a little bit more of this area. Let's grab the other shield part. I kind of remember what I'm doing, you know. We don't we don't need a test run, baby. We got memory. We got big brain. We know what we're doing. Somewhat. Get them webs off. Let's grab this gas mask part. Boom. We only need one more piece for for both buildables. Very nice. Let's go back up here and let's actually get this power on. We're gonna go up here. We're gonna put this water into this little bucket and then we're gonna have to do it on the other side as well and that'll open up the giant uh laboratory with the bunker door i don't know why i threw that genuinely have no clue why i threw that don't ask let's get this bunker open open sesame a plus 250 we love to see it all right that guy's gonna turn to a a, a big boy we stopped him before he could though thank god yeah the boss zombie on this map the thrasher not exactly the most threatening boss zombie of all time, but you definitely, you know, you don't want to have to deal with him. It's better to, to take him out before he transforms. So here we have quite a few things we have to do. As you can see, Pap is right there. Um, we're going to go this way, though. I don't... Th yeah, there's so many doors in this place. But we can get uh, power on. We can go ahead and get power on, so... I'm going to kill some of these guys off so I'm not getting absolutely bombarded. 
So in order to get power, we need to come down here, tear these webs off, and then that will start a lockdown sequence in which we have to survive for maybe like 30 seconds. 24 hours later. All right, there we go, finally. So I guess, I guess you finish it based on how many zombies you kill, not based on time. Ow. All right, we got power on. Oh yeah, we can put that there to drain the water. We need to do that three times to get PAV open. All right, uh, this is probably a 1250 door, I would imagine. Yes, it is. All right, can we get 1250 without killing you? <laughs> okay, what a surprise. Yeah, let's buy the CUDA. Can't go wrong with the CUDA. All right, uh, we need to shoot a spore real quick and get these boys all riled up. Three, two, one. That was absolutely atrocious. Don't even, don't ask. Don't ask what that was. Just don't do it. Don't ask. Oh, he ran into it anyways. Okay. Well, time to farm you. There we go. And then there's also the one to kill or shoot five spores, which um, I'm probably going to kill two birds with one stone by doing that while shooting the spiders, because spider round probably going to be soon. What are you doing in my swamp? Oh, there's a thrasher. All right. Hello. Hello, sir. He's a very easy boss zombie. You just gotta shoot his little orange sacks. You know, absolutely vile, putrid stuff. Such a foul order. That's what I said, Takio. Let's see if we got the right skull on this, um, what's it called? On this ritual. Fingers crossed we did. Also, I forgot to mention, but uh, this map has a couple new guns. So it has the HD-40, which is basically futuristic MP-40. It has the Marshall Pistols, which is super awesome. And it also has the M1 Grand, called the MX Grand. So cool stuff, but we can get the gas mask. And we did get the right one. Let's go, baby. Making them big plays right now. Well, speaking of big plays. All right, I didn't want to kill him, but it had to be done. It had to be done. How many times do I have to teach you this lesson, old man? Oh, crap. Ah. Eat nades. Eat my beautiful nades that I'm... Oh, he's, he's hacking away at the other zombies. Is he getting life force back? Not on my watch. All right, we're out of ammo on everything, boys. Bro, there's another thrasher coming in? Screw it, we're out. Probably the first time I've ever used the zip line just to evade. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and build the gas mask. Uh, right here is the best place to build it, so. That'll help us with uh, Shrek's disgusting farts. I'd like to get Jug soon as well. Alright, give me that. We're doing decent so far. I can't complain. Oh my. Well, now I'm gonna complain. Why do you gotta do that? Frickin' timing. We love to see it. Alright, we're gonna open this door up, and we're gonna be in a room with a bunch of nasty cocoons, so... There is a part that we have to get, and it drops randomly from one of these cocoons. Sadly, the zombies that drop from this do not give you any points, which is, uh, garbage. But I'm just gonna keep knifing. I don't even have time to shoot most of these guys, honestly. I think our part's over there. Yeah, it is. Alright, well, we got that piece. We're two-thirds the way to getting that open. Uh, let's get 1250 real quick. Hold up. Alright, here we go. Final ritual, baby. This one's always been the hardest, in my opinion. It's a tight little room, and they love to spawn thrashers. Hey, get away from that. Speaking of which... Alright. Nades. Nades. More nades. Alright, come on. Defend. There we go. We're done, baby. Easy, easy. And this is where we build the KT4. Which we'll be getting that soon enough. Here we go. Place that. Now we got all the skulls. That's gonna lift this tree up. And we're gonna go down into this hidden room. This hidden demonic room. And now we have to kill a bunch of keepers. Nothing to it. These guys die in what, like one shot? Pretty much. Trash. I mean, I guess they can overwhelm you if you're not paying attention, but I don't know. They, they're they kind of a joke. Ooh, ooh. Okay, I just got hit like three times. Boom. 
Two plus two is four. Minus one, that's three. Quick maths. There we go. The skull of non -Sopway. Look at that thing. Holy crap. So yeah, basically the way this thing works is you can pull it out, and if you press the right trigger, it will start just murdering everybody in front of you. And if you press the left trigger, it will pretty much freeze them in place and mesmerize them. And the mesmerize feature is also used for a couple Easter eggs. So in order to start the main Easter egg, we have to actually mesmerize. Look at that shadow quality. What is my shadow quality on? Holy crap, brother. What are we doing right here? But so there's two things we have to do real quick. And we have to mesmerize two different areas in order to start this main Easter egg. And it's a very short main Easter egg, but the, the prep is honestly the hardest part. All right. We're going to mesmerize that. That's going to reveal this paper. Now we need to quickly go over here. Oh, we got a spider around. Quickly go over here, and we're going to mesmerize this open. There we go. All right, spiders, it's time to uh, get hit by spores. Also, I need to actually collect a spider real quick. You'll see what I'm talking about in a second. Spiders are pretty weak, but, I mean, they can gang up on you. If you're not careful all right so he's gonna go in there dumb little spider goes right into the trap even without bait don't ask questions we're gonna we're gonna raise that up all right he's blocking the pathway like a scumbag that is gonna inject some uh bad boy drugs into him and he's gonna explode from the overdose and now we got a part boom so now we need to kill these spiders with spores get over here watch Thank you for the max ammo, sir. Um, okay, so there's another part that we can get down here. Random zombie's gonna have green glow on him, and we're gonna have to collect something from him, so we're just gonna chill over here for a little bit. And then, uh, we'll get our last pat piece, as well as our last KT4 piece in the same area. Don't turn. Oh my. Oh, there he is. Alright, let's grab that. And I have to kill this thrasher, as always. Ooh, that's a that's a rough little spot to be put in right there. It's fine though. We good. We champs. We know what we're doing. Right, I blew his head off. He's still running at me. Let's see if I can get emulation liquidation. Can I get an emulation liquidation? There we go, baby. We're gonna open over here, and now we're gonna have to do some swimming. Thankfully, you can use the spores to get you some air back, so that's nice. But there's our pat piece. Now we have to go all the way down here in order to get the plant for the KT4. And we're going to have to revisit this area quite often, sadly. Hey, we can build the KT4 on round 8. Not bad. We're pretty much like we got all the buildables done. As soon as we come out here, we can go build this bad boy. And KT4 is a pretty solid wonder weapon. You know, it's not one of the best ever, but it's definitely not one of the worst. It, it's a, it's a, I would say it's a good wonder weapon. It's kind of like the Sliquifier, although maybe not as good, but we're going to create the formula. And we're going to take this bad boy. There we go. KT4. All right, so you can shoot it once by tapping it, or you can charge it kind of like a staff in Origins. Very, very cool stuff. But now we got the PAP open. Not that we need it anytime soon, but... And the upgrade for the KT4 is an entire quest, so I'm not going to just be shoving it in the PAP machine. We should have our shield part up here somewhere. There it is. Now we can go build the shield. And now that we have the KT4... And now that we've mesmerized the little spots that I showed you guys earlier, uh, we now can start working on the main Easter egg steps. And really, there's only three, but they are a little complex. So first step that we're going to go after, at least for now, is you see that plane up there? Nope. Well, we need, we need the big guns, and we need to blow it up. We pretty much have to get a missile from a plant. Yes, I know that makes no sense, but we're going to put these seeds down. And we got to use blue water and we got to use the KT4 to make this absolute abomination of a plant that will somehow randomly spew out a giant artillery shell. And we're going to have to use it on that plane to get a 
cog, because the main like point of this Easter egg is you have to get three cogs to repair an elevator to go down into the boss fight. We have to do three rounds in order to finish a plant. So it's a little tedious for this, not gonna lie. We're gonna have to do a lot of backtracking, a lot of planting, but we'll, we'll get it done. We're big boys. Uh, let me see, can I do it with one shot? Yeah, all right, we know we got it when the green little particles are coming up. And uh, we can also shoot that web down to get that insta-kill, but I'm not worried about it right now. We could go ahead and start hitting emulation and get hopefully the marshals or the dingo. Actually, right now we should probably get the dingo. Uh, I don't know. We're we're just gonna we're just gonna hit the box see what we can get. Two seconds later. Hey, dingo. Dang man. At this point, like I don't know if the marshals are super good for a certain boss fight that I'll show you guys later. So I I may just chill with the dingo for now. I'm not even gonna hit the box anymore. Honestly, we're just gonna stay with this. Maybe I'm making a mistake, maybe the marshals are good for what I think we're about to fight, but we'll see. Hey, can't go wrong with the dingo. Even if I can't get the beautiful marshal pistols, you can never go wrong with the dingo. Hopefully we get the missile first try. If not, well, that's gotta be rough, I'll say that. Alright, you know what, you get hit by that, bro. Like turns into a giant plant and explodes. Love it. All right, let's grab double. Oh yeah, dingo with double, double dingo. Oof, you'd love to see it. All right, die. Water this again. Hit it with the KT4. Easy clap. Oh yeah, we're we're chilling with this setup right now. Oh, right, I have to... Hold on. Come over here, guys. Come over here. Come over here. Stop shooting. Guys. Of course he shoots the freaking spore. Can you run into it like an idiot, please? All right, hold up, hold up. Chill out. Bro, these spiders are... They, they get on my nerves sometimes. I'm going to be real with you guys. In fact, you know what? Follow me, guys. Follow me. Thank you. Die. There we go. Double, Double kill. kill. Love to see it. All right, we're going to hit this Thrasher with the KT4. Say goodnight. Oh yeah, look at that death and destruction. Didn't really hit him though. Man's actually tanking a little bit, but we're good. Oh yeah, and I believe... Oh my god, I'm gonna die and insta-kill. Oh, uh, what is wrong with me, guys? What is wrong with me? I couldn't freaking swap to my weapon in time. I died on insta-kill, man. <laughs> with Jug. Oh, that's a that's an unlucky sevens moment right there. That's what we live for. All right, let, let's have this loaded up. Holy crap, man. I could have pulled out my specialist weapon too, guys. I'm an embarrassment. Whatever. That's that's our one and only death we're going to have all run, so we good. Let's find out if we got the missile from any of these plants. That ain't a missile, but I'll take it. What about over here? Do we got a missile? Yes or no? We got a spider round. Nice. There we go. We got the missile on our second one. We love to see it. Okay, spider, come here. Say hello to spore. There we go. Shoot five spores. Hopefully we get our spider kill soon. Run into it like an idiot. There you go. Run into it. Run into it. There you go. We are farming these guys. We still don't have enough though somehow. Oh yeah, we got a beefy one right here. There we go. We're done. Kill eight spiders with spores. All right, get away. Don't kill yourself on that. You dummy. You absolute idiot! Why did you run into that? Oh my god, dude. Alright, we're gonna have to save a zombie at the end of this round then. Alright, whatever. We're, we're just gonna get to the end of this round, and then we're gonna try to blow this plane up. A bowie knife? I'll take it. Shoot, is that still one hit? No, it's not. Alright. What about, what about here? What do we got? More points? Alright, well, we did all of our challenges, which is very nice. So, over here now, we're randomly gonna get lightning to strike, and that'll zap our shield. And there's actually something I want to show you guys with it real quick that is pretty neat. This is used for an Easter egg step. Well, kind of. It's used for a KT4 upgrade step. But for now, I want to show you guys something in the meantime. All right, there we go. If I remember correctly, you can zap a perk machine or a gobblegum machine and it will cause it to be half off. So we're going to we're going to test that out real quick on Speed Cola. Bop. Yep, there we go. Speed color for 1,500. Look at that big brain play. There we go. 
And we can pat too. Easy. So yeah, very cool little feature. Much appreciated. But yeah, let's go pap our dingo real quick, and then we're gonna get into some serious, serious gaming. The dire wolf. We got the kind of nasty pap cam on this map, but you know, it is what it is. All right, so this is where the fun ends. This is outrageous. It's unfair. Not begins. So you have to load this missile into this plane and then fire it. Or not in the plane, but in the artillery. I don't remember exactly where you load the missile in. Heck, I don't even know if we have the missile loaded in. You're supposed to get an audio cue, but it can be a little sus sometimes. So yeah, as you see, that plane, it basically flies over every 90 seconds, I believe. And we just have to line it up and shoot it. There it is, there it is, okay. Bro, where do you fire this thing from? I swear to God. All right, here we go. It's time to blow this piece of junk out of the sky. Three, two, one, bada bing. Fire the cannon. Bro, I swear this thing don't make sense. Here we go. Bro, this cannon does not freaking work, does it? Holy. Wow. All right, plane. You better go night night. I'm killing the zombie, too. That's how confident I am. Did I fire this thing without realizing it? It does not want to work. You know what? Screw that missile for now. In the meantime, we're going to go uh, get an easy KT4 upgrade by using the electric shield. So, lightning, please strike upon me. We'll fire the KT-4 off too, why not? At least you don't like slide all over the place with this thing. Very nice. All right, we're gonna go this way, just like the other panel where we extracted the nasty looking juice from the spider. We're gonna do a similar thing, except this time we're getting in the cage. All right, and now when we're down here, we have to collect. There we go. I guess we got it. I can't even see it, bro, but I, I'm pretty sure we got it. That is a piece for the upgrade KT4 that we collected. Genuinely have no idea where it even was. I think I got it, though. I couldn't see it, but... All right, you know, this is the part of the run where things start to get really scuffed, so we're just going to continue on with it. We're going to keep the ball rolling. You know, we're going all over the place right now. Here's what we're going to do. All right. I don't even care about the round that's starting. You know why I don't care? Because we're about to fight the mother of all spiders. That's right. We're about to fight a big, disgusting spider. And it's going to be truly one of the fights of all time. So we got to open this up. We got to head down under. And we got to get into this big spider cave. Oh, God. Here we go. Here it comes. Here we go. All right. So we have to shoot its mouth. And we have to dodge its legs. That's the play. There we go. All right. There we go. Why is there a thrasher down here? Good question. Hold up. What the? Dude, the thrasher just got me one hit. Dude, you need to die. Seriously. What the heck? I don't even remember there ever being a thrasher down here. That's some new crap right there. All right. Oh, we got red screen, but we saved it, baby. The scuffed run is continuing. Die. There we go. We defeated the big spider. I remember the first time I played Zetsubo, that was some wild stuff right there. But it's easy now. And now we have to collect his tooth. Sorry, bro. I'll go clean it for you, though. Don't worry. There's actually a really cool reward, which is this Widow's Wine Fountain. It's not even a perk machine. We get a free Widow's Wine from that. Very cool. I don't know what's up with these, like, zombies randomly teleporting on my screen through walls, but, you know, we, there's some wild stuff going on here, boys. This is truly one of the runs of all time. 
All right, now we gotta get anywhere but here to get one of the cogs. We're gonna kill you. That guy was so much easier to kill than the guy in the, the spider boss room. Anyways, um, we need to hit the gobble gum machine. Extra credit. You know what? We'll take it. Why not? Free points. Never hurt anyone. Screw it. We'll hit the gobble gum machine again. 5,000. We just spent 5k on the gobble gum machine. Holy. At least we got anywhere over here, though. It was worth it. So, the one stupid part, other than the trying to shoot the plane down step, is that we have to use anywhere but here to do one of the steps. Which, again, like I said, very stupid. Very stupid. Zet's bow easter egg. It's obviously one of the easter eggs of all time. Everybody wants to do it, but we're going to pop it down here. Now we're in a secret room. And there's a bunch of dragon eggs. Little uh, hint at the next map right there. So we finally got our first cog that we can put in the elevator. We should already have another one by now, but, uh, well, unfortunately, this game is being real stupid. So there we go. We'll put that there. I guess we'll get back to trying to shoot the freaking plane down if it'll let me. Let's go work on the last KT4 part, uh, upgrade part, that is. So I have to get some rainbow water. Huh? And you're probably wondering, how the heck do we get rainbow water? Well, I'll show you guys. It's quite simple. We have to go through this little thing, the sewer pipe, nasty sewer pipe. And we got to hold X right here. There we go. We got rainbow water. It's funny how easy it is to hold X on that, but the plane, oh no. So what we have to do is we have to go back in this little water area where we got our plant originally from. And we have to start watering a new one with this rainbow water. And we have to shoot it with a KT4, so. Do we have a spore down here? Yeah, we have a little spore down here. All right, hopefully we won't need it. I could just anywhere but here out of here. Oh, that's right. We have to mesmerize the wall. I forgot about that. Let's do that real quick. All right. Three, two, one, let's go. So we have to do that three rounds in a row. And then we'll be able to get our final part, the plant. Also, if you see this little blue energy, it gives you a speed boost, as you can see. So I think I get that from just shooting spores with the KT4. Alright, we need to quickly go do this, because the spiders love to just end their own lives. And if we miss a round, then we have to redo everything with this plant, and we don't want to do that. Alright, 3, 2, 1. I don't know if you need a fully charger or not, but I'm doing it just to be safe. <gasps> get some air, bro. Get some air. We could do the spider bait Easter egg in the meantime. Yeah, you know what? We got spiders. We could try to do the spider bait Easter egg right now if it's not too complicated, too difficult. But we're going to give this little spider bait Easter egg a shot. We may not be able to do it. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, we could do it, but it depends. It, like, it could be a little bit difficult to pull it off. I don't want the spiders to kill themselves. So uh, what we have to do first is we have to mesmerize spiders until we see one with a red mist on it. I'm not seeing a red mist yet. Oh, there you are. Here I am. All right, so we need to make sure that this guy does not die. We must keep him alive at all costs. So please don't run into that spore. Thank you. All right, follow me, follow me. So this Easter egg is very cool. Uh, essentially, it will allow you to get the ability to become a spider. Very neat stuff. So he's gonna drink that water. And we pretty much have to get him to drink all the different types of water. Drink up, bro. There you go. Get you a big sip. All right, come over here. Hey, don't shoot at me. Follow me. Where are you going, dude? Follow me. It's not that hard. All right, drink this water. Come on. There you go. Drink up. All right, he's got all the water. All right, so this boy's got to get back in the cage. All right, get down there. Get in. We're gonna inject more disgusting spider juice from you. Okay, I forgot a step. Hopefully this round does not end. I forgot you have to electrify the shield. Oh my. Fingers crossed the round doesn't randomly end. This is a scuffed run. I mean, it's better than I thought it would be, given the fact that I haven't played this map in months, but it's still kind of scuffed. Let's be real. It's still a little scuffed. There we go. Thank you. All right, cool. I think Spider's still alive. It, hopefully, he's still chilling in the cage. When he started, like, twitching, I was a little worried that maybe he'd uh, blow up. 
but I think we're still good to go on this. So we need to raise him up and then melee the cage. And now we lower it. It should take him underground this time. Yep, there we go. All right, he's going underground. We gotta go one full round. All right, which let me go do the rainbow water. We gotta go one full round, and then we're gonna get a new spider round. They're gonna be a lot tougher. Not too tough, but a little bit tougher. And uh, we'll be able to bring him back up and get the spider bait. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and head down below, and we're just gonna get this little part done with quick. All right, raise up, go down. Tell me we got a spore down here, please. All right, we got a little spore. That's good enough, good enough. All right, three, two, one, bop. Give me that, we're heading back up, baby. Thankfully, they don't really spawn camp me too hard. Imagine if they came down there with me. Oh man, that would suck. That would suck so bad. Operation room. In the meantime, we could try a hit for the marshals. Not that the dingo's bad, but we don't really need it anymore. If I get the HD40 or the MX Grand, I'll pick it up just to show you guys what it's like. But the goal is definitely to get the marshals. VMP, that ain't it. Oh my god! Ah! Oh my god! Doesn't seem like we're gonna get uh, the HD40, then one grand, or the marshals. Hey, what was that? What was that, bro? Why, why, why you gotta laugh at me? Demon baby. I know sometimes the map can like turn red and get all scary. I've had that happen a couple times and uh, it wasn't pleasant. Hey, we got the marshals. Heck yeah. All right, we're gonna go pap these immediately. Actually, nah, I'm not gonna do it just yet. Let me do the Easter egg step first to get the cog. I need the lightning to strike yet again. Oh shit, here we go again. All right, there we go. We're in business. All right, so we need to go to that zip line that was on lab A. So you can either go from the top or you can go from the bottom i'm gonna go from the bottom Sussy baka. because top side is a little risky on solo let's i mean it's it's risky regardless but it's easier if you go bottom on solo and basically what we have to do is we have to melee this switch with the electric shield and as soon as we take the zip line we need to melee ourselves on solo and we'll grab this cog piece so three two one melee boom easy and there we go, we got the second cog. So, keep that in mind, uh, for anybody who doesn't know how to do the easter egg for this map. If you're solo, you melee the switch, and then you press the melee button while on the zip line, and that will drop you down. If you're on co-op though, the way it works is a little bit different. You basically have a friend go on the zip line, and then you melee the switch, and that'll drop him. He, you can't drop yourself on co-op, so keep that in mind, it's a little bit different. Co-op is definitely riskier, because you have to actually put faith in your teammates. <laughs> well, that's usually not a not a good thing. Uh, regardless, let's go put the second cog in. Really? Whatever. Whatever. Alright, well, ay ay ay. Okay, we're gonna pap the marshals real quick, and we can grab the KT4 upgrade piece now. That right there is why I'm happy that I went ahead and watered the plant. Oh, right. Okay, never mind. Duh, spider bait. I'm all over the place, boys, but you already know when you sub to this channel that your boy's all over the place. So, um, this round, the spiders are gonna be a lot harder. But, they ain't too hard. I mean, you know, we'll, we'll take them out no problem with these marshals. I'm actually gonna go ahead and head back over to Lab A, because we're about to have to, uh, go over here anyways. As soon as the spider round ends, we'll be able to get our spider bait. Alright, let's grab this max. All right, I believe now we can send this up. Yeah, we can. All right. That's going to inject this cocoon that the spider has turned into. Don't know how a spider turned into that, but, you know, whatever. And, uh, there we go. We got the spider bait. That's what I'm talking about! So, I'll show it off here in a little bit, but for now, I really want to head back down there and get that plant piece ASAP. I'm a terrifying ogre! What are you doing down here, dude? All right, well, get out of my way. I got places to be. Here we go. Final piece for the KT4 upgrade is ours. Now we can go upgrade this into the Masamune. And uh, at that point, all we'll have left is shooting the dang thing down, the plane. That'll be the only thing we have left. Let's uh, upgrade this bad boy real quick. Put it right here, create the formula. 
There we go. Masamune upgraded KT4, baby. Now it's blue. What is this? Is it is that blue? Is that is that fing blue? Is this this is fing blue? Now, all that's left for us to do in terms of the main Easter egg is shoot that stupid plane down. So we're going to give it a shot. If it doesn't work again at this point, I'm convinced that I have to get the missile again. And, you know, that's not the biggest deal in the world, but we do have to go three entire rounds. So... Oh my... It's about dang time, brother. Holy crap. You know how many times I hit X on that freaking cannon? Like a million. And to be fair, I looked online, they were like, you shoot from the back. I don't think it fired from the back right there. Just saying. Pretty sure it just has a mind of its own. And it does whatever the frick it wants. So, okay. Thank God that is done. I hate that stuff. Buggy piece of garbage. Also, a random plane up there. I think that's a plane. Or is that a gun? I don't know. Anyways, um, the cog has fallen somewhere. I believe it's going to be over here. Uh, there's a smoke trail leading towards it. So we'll know where it is. But we're going to go pick this thing up. One eternity later. Where that boy at? My graphic... Oh, it's right there. Wow, that... Okay, maybe it's because I have my graphics a little bit low. Because that smoke trail was pretty much non-existent. Like, what smoke trail? We're pulling out the skull. Yeah. Scream for your lives. Forgot you actually get points for the skull. I don't know why I thought you didn't, but very nice, very nice. All right, so now that we got that third cog, uh, we can finally get on with the Easter egg and actually f do the boss fight. What took you so long, idiot? All right, I say we just go ahead and go in the boss fight. It's not exactly a hard boss by any means. Uh, we really don't need anything gobble gum wise uh we do need a full gas mask though let me uh see how we're looking on this okay yeah we're gonna we're gonna let this go away but yeah we want to make sure we have a full gas mask going into i'll just shoot that going into the uh the boss fight we gotta deplete this entirely all right it's gone all right Full gas mask. Uh, we're gonna head to the elevator, put the cog in. We're gonna be going down into the boss fight on round 20. Not bad, not bad. Obviously, this isn't as fast as you possibly could do. I'm sure people have done it in like five rounds or less. But, you know, I gotta be honest. Uh, pretty proud of myself on this run. Like I said, I haven't played in a very long time, so I will accept this any day of the week. Here we go. We're going down the elevator. We're gonna go say hi to Takio from the past, or well, future technically, Ultimus Takio, B01 World at War Takio. We're gonna go say hi to him. He ain't he ain't looking so good. Nope. We gotta take all these off. You can only do this with the upgraded KT4, so that's why you need it. We're gonna head in here, baby. So as you can see, there he is. I will use my bare hands. That's old Takio. He ain't looking very good, but we're going to help him out. So, the way this boss fight works, it's super easy, super simple boss. But the way it works is you got to basically kill enemies, thrashers, spiders, all sorts of stuff. And after a certain amount of time, you'll be able to shoot the big boy's arm when it's orange. And uh, you do that enough times, you beat the Easter egg. But the man is basically a non-threat, unless you run below him. All right, here we go. Sorry, Takio, but we got to relieve you of this curse. Oh, man, screaming for his life. Here we go, cutscene time. Almost as though they were my own. Takio Masaki. Takio Masaki. I fought many great battles for the glory of our nation. I was never a big fan of Takio back in the day, but... 
This was a nice send off for him. Who amongst us could be so dishonorable? The orders came from the Emperor himself. Dude gets flashbanged. Oh, my life, my path. My life. My path to change things. Man, what are my graphics on right now? God. I must have turned them down a lot for a custom map or something. <laughs> ah, rip the boy. <laughs> Dang. If you think about it, Takio is killing himself twice. Uh-oh, something else that must happen. There we go, we got all the perks. Call it our insurance policy. I love how Richtofen's talk, I can't even, like, I'm not even playing as him. Alright, so story-wise, what just happened is we just took a little trip to Blood of the Dead on Black Ops 4, which we'll get to eventually in the Revisiting series, but... Yeah, I remember everybody was speculating, like, what happened right there. You know, Richtofen went and got her by the blood vials. We found out years later. But anyways, that's it. That's the Zetsubo Easter egg. So, very nice, very nice. I think it's time I show off spider bait, though. This is a very nice area, by the way, to camp at. Pizza time. But here we go. Spider bait. We a spider. I got incredible aim with this thing, too. Love it. This, uh, little spider blast, it does some good damage. Hey, I could actually pick up a seed down here? Wait a minute. I did not know that. The aiming can be a little jank, but is there a way to, like, melee? Like, can I start stabbing one of these guys? I don't think I can. Wait, can I sprint as the spider? Oh my god, you can. Look at that movement. Man, zooming. That's faster than any spider I've fought in this map. But yeah, very cool feature the spider bait is. Uh, and like I said, because we beat the Easter egg, we have this whole place open. It is a super nice camp spot. Just remember that you cannot be down here unless you have a gas mask. If you do not have a gas mask, you will start dying from all the nasty toxins that are down here. But yeah, anyways, we still have some side Easter eggs to do, of course, and uh, I'm gonna get right on that. Also, eventually, I'll show you guys the MX Grand as well as the HD40. Couple things to do first. Um, we're gonna be working towards two different little Easter eggs right now. One that we're going to work towards is the friendly Thrasher Easter Egg, which, as you could imagine, turns a Thrasher into a teammate. Very cool stuff. And also, we're going to be working towards the Golden Bucket. So the Golden Bucket, the first thing that we need to do for it is we have to make every single plant. So we have to make an all blue plant, which we've done countless times already. So that's good. And then we have to make an all green plant, an all purple plant, and then a plant with all three water types, which turns into the fruit plant, which literally you eat a piece of fruit and it can give you a random perk or it can make you throw up. We're not going to be eating that crap. There's also an imprint plant, which is a very interesting plant. Kind of plays off of the idea of the time bomb from Buried. I don't think we need to make that one quite yet for the golden bucket, so. But yeah, first, let's go ahead and make the green plant, which is the one that holds the zombie in place, I believe. We also need to work on the purple and the multicolored one. We're going to do the fruit plant right here, so I need to keep that in mind. Um, and we gotta go get the purple water, and I'm gonna put it on both of those. This is gonna be our purple plant, so we'll keep that in mind. And now, I'm gonna go ahead and end the round. Because obviously, it's a round-by-round round process on Shrek Swamp. You know, this is truly one of the maps of all time. Watering plants, you know, fighting giant spiders, dealing with Shrek. True innovation, true peak gameplay on this map. Real quick, though, we can go ahead and do this friendly Thrasher Easter egg real quick. What we need to do for this is very, very simple. All we have to do is take the Skullden on Sopway and mesmerize this wall. Okay, we need to hit these vines with the upgraded KT4. That should get rid of them. So now the spore is exposed. As soon as this uh, KT4 crap runs out, we're going to take this zombie over to it. All right, here we go. Come here, my child. 
There we go. So as you can see, he's glowing blue. That's because he's our boy now. Hey, I'm no one's boy. All right. So yeah, he'll uh, attack zombies for us. Very nice. I don't think he'd last very long though, sadly. Oh, he just enraged. Oh, it's a spider round. Great. He's gonna go bully some spiders. Oh wait, I just not realized. I need to hurry up with these plants. Uh oh. Hold up. All right. I'm gonna I'm try not to kill the spiders. I don't know if the friendly thrasher is actually gonna go after them or not, or if he's just gonna stand in the back. Whatever he decides to do, though, we need to be quick. I don't think the friendly thrasher did anything. We're gonna have to show him off in a better better time later, probably. I'll go ahead and put this green water in here real quick. Gold bucket is very nice because it gives you an infinite source of whatever color of water, and you can change the color of water on the fly. So it's a it's a pretty dang cool thing to have on this map with all the watering and crap you got to do. Put this blue up here. I believe we did green, purple, blue. Or green, purple already. Now we got blue. Hopefully I didn't mess anything up. And now we got to get purple water and put it on here. And the next round we'll have our plants. Purple right there. All right, now we got to end this round. So let's get on with it. But yeah, this setup's pretty, uh, pretty goaded. It's pretty goaded with the sauce. I'm gonna be honest. Oh, wait, that's the friendly thrasher. He's still here. There we go. He bopped that zombie. He got some action going. All right, so this is the purple plant. It's very evil. It wants to attack me. Thrasher just, be just literally put it right back down in the dirt. He saw me get hit, and he was like, nah, bro. You are not about to hit my boy. Um, but up here, we should have the fruit plant. Oh, did I screw something up? Dang, I screwed something up, didn't I? Whatever, we got the green plant up here, though. All right, this is the one that holds the zombie. Oh, it just chopped his legs off, and now it's holding him. All right, well, we got that guy. He's going to stay right there. But yeah, the purple Venus flytrap plant, that one is mostly used for attracting zombies' attention. All right, so I actually, I think I did do it right. It doesn't matter what color it is. The problem is that it's not, um, it's not guaranteed. That's the problem. So we're just going to try and do three real quick. But yeah, that was the issue I was running into. It's just random. You don't always get it. Tell you what, though, I'm glad I got all these perks. I mean, it's not mandatory, but it sure does help. All right. Later that same evening. All right, let's hope we get a fruit plant from these three. I'm gonna be kind of upsetty spaghetti if we don't get one. There, there it is. All right, I'll take it, but I'm just gonna throw up. I'm pretty sure. Yep. All right. There we go. We ate the fruit plant. Let's go, boys. Now we have to get one more seed so we can have three seeds, and then we'll get to work. Can a man get a seed? There we go. All right. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna mesmerize these vines, and uh, we we're gonna start placing seeds. So boom. Boom, boom, and boom. This is gonna grow a bunch of demon purple plants that attack, and uh, we need them to kill these zombies, so. Uh, I think we have to do this for a few rounds. It just needs to get all the kills. Uh, eventually, we'll get our golden bucket. 24 hours later. All right, I guess that's enough. I guess we're done. Yeah, all right, that plant's growing. We're about to get our gold bucket, boys. Let me make sure I don't die in the process. There it is, the gold bucket. All right, I'm going to take that, and I'm going to instantly go into spider bait. What is this position? We're in a tight spot. Oh, I didn't even get it. Hold up. Die. Die. All right, let me have this. Oh, do I have the gold bucket? I can't tell. Did it freaking pick it up or not? It's still in there, so I don't think it did. Bruh. Let me have the gold bucket, please. I'm tripping, aren't I? There's something. There's something wrong. Uh, like, what? What's the deal? What's the deal? Bruh. A few minutes later. There is another side Easter egg that we can do, um, which is a like kind of musical Easter egg. You guys already know. I don't really worry about the music Easter eggs. But there is something you can do down here with this little section, and I think you just give it water and it'll start playing a little song. But again, I'm not worried about doing music easter eggs, so really the only thing that we have left on this map, yes, we've already done everything. That can be done solo, because there is a jump scare, but you, you can't do it solo. Aww. 
So the only thing that we have left is to make the imprint plant, which is essentially like the time bomb from Buried. So we're going to go three rounds. We're going to make. Went and got the the upgrades, the the what's it called, the challenges for doing all that stuff earlier. I never redeemed my my rewards. So first reward is always max ammo. We'll just go ahead and pick it up. Um, second reward, I believe, is a better gun. Although not for us, we don't need the Berkey. And then third reward is a perk bottle. Granted, we don't need that. Obviously, I probably should have gotten the perk bottle earlier, but I didn't even think about it. I was just very gung ho on the Easter egg. All right, blue water. Wait, what? Oh, I do have the gold bucket. Oh, do ya? All right. Well, you press both thumbsticks and it cycles through to the different water. I don't know what I was thinking, guys. I'm sorry. I'm not very bright sometimes. My apologies. We do have the gold bucket. All right, there you go. You saw it here first. Hey, uh, you know what? We got the MX Grand though. We're gonna take that. We're gonna take that. There we go. So this is basically futuristic M1 Grand right here. You can't reload this thing until the the mat or the clip is empty. So interesting, I guess. It's all right, you know, not the best thing ever, but serviceable, I guess. But it takes absolutely forever to kill the Thrasher. My God! All right, we gotta pull this out. I'm probably still gonna die. Yeah, I, I'm not surprised. Let's go, boys! We love dying by getting trapped. I should've went to spider bait. Dumb. Dumb, dumb YouTuber. You have spider bait. Go into spider bait. Why do I keep forgetting that? Alright, well, our MX Grand gameplay is over with, clearly. This is, this is the run of all time. I mean, I'm still doing everything, you know. We still, we still rocking, but... You know, it's a little sloppy. I'm trading whatever I get, I don't care. Give me uh, HD40. There we go. Easy. Nothing to it, baby. Nothing to it. All right, we're going to go pap this bad boy real quick. And that'll be all of the unique Zetsubo weapons papped. But this is basically just the MP40. There's nothing special about it. They brought it back into Black Ops 3 multiplayer, and that's why this is a futuristic version. Because a lot of these, like, weapons they put into BO3, these returning weapons, were just supply drop weapons from multiplayer. But we got the Afterburner 2.0. Oh. My. Good lord. That actually took forever. HG40 ain't the play. Granted, I don't have double tap, but like still, that was a crawler. Man, F in the chat for the HG40. Alright, we're gonna go to the elevator. And we're just gonna we're just gonna hold out right here. I've done everything else there is to this map. I don't want to hear nothing about it. The only thing I haven't done other than this imprint plant, which I'll probably just show some footage on the screen of what it does. The only thing that I haven't done is go to round 50 and see the little secret boss in the background that like walks by so uh, again i'll probably show footage of what that does too but for the most part we did everything i'm ready to uh say goodbye to shrek swamp so zombies just have me take me take me end my suffering 38 rounds we died as many times as we possibly could we did pretty much everything but it was it was in the most scuffed way imaginable all right, guys. Well, that is Zetsubo no Shima, a.k.a. Shrek's Disgusting Swamp. But, yeah, regardless, next map, we're going to be moving on to Garad Krovi. And that's where that's where I'm going to have to really put the big boy pants on because that Easter egg is actually difficult. Next time, I'll have a practice run under my belt, so it won't be as scuffed. But, hey, I'm, I'm proud of what we accomplished given I, the fact that I haven't played this map in months. So... Anyways, Zetsubo, it's definitely a good map. I just had a rough run of it, but we still got it done, so. Um, but yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, please be sure to like and subscribe. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.